Hello everyone, welcome back to Glenlatan. <coughs> After in the previous episode we managed to uh, make some money harvest harvesting the barley in this field over here. I had a thought between recording this episode and the last one and decided to spend that money on buying another field, mm -hmm. expanding our land and I decided to get this field over here. 20 field 29 12 if we go to the buy menu field but for that we are going to need another 10,000 euros so let's go to the bank menu over here and borrow 10,000 more we already had a $50,000 loan but this field is also ready to harvest so if we are going to buy this we can go straight into it and harvest it and with the money that we make from the harvest we will repay a uh, part of the loan if we jump into the construction menu over here and have a look the field it's the one up there that it's ready to harvest that it looks like it's uh, ready to harvest i also took a snapshot for the thumbnail and now let's jump into the Combine Harvester, who is in this field that we finished last time, that we harvested last time, and get up to that field over there and start harvesting. Uh, I'm curious to see how much barley we are going to make out of that field, because uh, I think it should be the best time to sell, yes, in September. So we are going to also sell that barley today, make some money, and maybe by the end of this episode we could uh, also repay a chunk of that loan. I will leave the header trailer here and we can recover it after we finish the harvest and we take the, uh, what's it called, combine harvester back to the farm. I think we can manage to fit uh, onto these lanes, the harvester is not that big. <coughs> and exactly like I did in, uh, in the other field, probably I will do two laps around the headland to create some space to turn around and then I'm going to continue harvesting. I'll do this in a time lapse of course, you don't want me to you don't want to watch me harvest for the entire episode and I will come back to you once the harvest is done and we can go sell the bar.
barley harvest is now finished we managed to get from this field I don't know if it this field was lined or fertilized twice or anything but we all we managed to get a full trailer load that means 13,250 liters which we are going to sell and also we have another 1,300 and something liters in the harvester so let's see where exactly we should go sell we should go sell it exports I think exports is the one over here yes so I'm going to take the trailer there and I will see you at the cell point to see how much money we make out of this and then come back for the other load and also go sell it and let's hope it will be a good profit I think we are going to make around 12-13 thousand euros which is not that basically we are going to make the money to pay back the extra loan we made in this episode to be able to buy the field. So it's not bad. So I'll see you at the sell point. We are just arriving now at the sell point. We had to let the traffic buy. Uh, let's sell this and then I'll go back to the farm and collect the other thousand liters that we have in the harvester and get back here to uh, also sell that. But before we, I travel back and get here, I remembered that today, today meaning September in game, I didn't check the sale to see what we have in there. Yeah, okay, this front loader will, would be very nice, but I don't have a tractor to attach it to. And this is it, so it's not helping us. And also, I didn't uh, check the animals. The sheep still have a lot of hay, 94 thousand liters of hay and they started producing wool which is good and the cows still have over a hundred thousand liters of TMR so it's not a problem we have a lot of uh, food for them they also have 34 thousand liters of straw for bedding and it's more than enough and they didn't start producing milk yet I think they need to uh, breed before that so they need to reach 100% puberty to start producing milk and that will be I think in a couple of months time but yeah it is what it is we, at least we will have slurry and manure uh, the slurry we can spread on our fields but 16,000 liters of slurry I don't think we can do even half a field with that so I'm not gonna bother right now and also we don't have the money to buy a slurry spreader and uh, the manure the same I don't know if we can sell either of them and what the price will be let's check if we can sell slurry and manure we should be able to get the biogas but I'm not sure uh, where are they I, I don't even hear there so manure we have 11,000 liters and we can sell it at the biogas and at the export for, for 55 and in December even more for 64 so we are going to wait until December and the slurry the same thing in January should be the best price so we are going to wait until December January time for both of them and then maybe we can uh, rent a trailer for the slurry or buy it if it comes cheap in the sale but I don't expect it to do and also transport the manure over and sell it we are not going to make a fortune out of it but it will be a thousand euros probably and that will have more so yeah why keep it if we are not using it right now or at least yeah i'll i'll have to think about it but i think one of the products we are going to sell probably the manure and the slurry i don't know i'll think maybe that should be a good idea to keep for uh, fertilizing our fields when we have more also I'm driving in cab right now and looking at this tractor this tractor is filthy I need to build up some money I, to get a pressure washer I, mean, I have the money right now to invest in a pressure washer but I don't want to have a 60k loan to repay so getting a pressure washer it's not the best idea also looking at this tractor uh, this reminds me very much of an old tractor that my grandpa had grandpa had 
it was not a case tractor it was a Romanian tractor uh, U 650 but it was a very nice a very nice tractor the inside cab looked very much similar to this one uh, that was the first vehicle that I learned to drive on so yeah a lot of memories but uh, okay I'm not now going to get uh, the thousand liter of, of liters of barley that we have left at the farm and I'll see you back at uh, at the sell points to to sell that we are now back at the farm I said I will see you at the sell point to sell the barley but for a thousand liters of barley I decided it's not worth it to do jump two jump cuts uh, a few seconds one a part of the other it's, I don't think it's fun it's fun to watch that I wouldn't like it so I jump cut it directly me getting to the farm let's see if we can park this trailer from in cab I don't particularly like to do in cab work because the depth perception it's totally wrong if you do things in cab but I think it's okay for now uh, so yeah we sell, sold the barley we have now just over 15,000 euros and uh, since we have that money I will pay back the loan that we took today to buy the field and we still have the 50,000 that uh, originally we originally had when we started this episode and now before we move to uh, October I have to bale the straw I don't think we will also have time to collect it in this month we will collect it in October but uh, at least we can bale it even if it it gets dark I think we should uh, be able to do most of the bailing before that uh, also I'm thinking about uh, selling some of the silage looking at the cows right now and seeing that they don't consume the food that fast or at least not as, fa as fast as I was expecting them to uh, I think that gives me room to to sell some silage and also have enough to feed them over the winter because uh, we are now in September we will roll the grass uh, I think one day one month ago in August uh, so we should be able to cut the grass again until the end of the year and probably I'm going to silage wrap uh, all of that I will see how much hay we have in storage but uh, it also should be enough to keep the both the sheep and the cow going because they're not consuming like I said that much food okay then uh, their number is not great but it's something so yeah we have decisions to make maybe if we sell some of the silage but uh, it, uh, we have to check but I will check probably after we move to October if the grass uh, wrapped bales that we put in storage are fermenting because it's the first time I'm doing that and I actually don't know if they are going to ferment I hope so because otherwise we are stuck with a lot of grass that uh, we are going to feed the sheep with it's not a problem but uh, yeah it will be better to have it as silage so I'm going to time lapse this and uh, I think I will see you back in October or after we finish this if I decide to do some bale collecting in, uh, in September also I actually don't think so but if, if we are going to do that I will I will see you back then that bale wants to roll it's his main purpose I hope he, it will get stuck in the fence this one will also roll because it's a hill but should go somewhere in the trees over there which is not a problem I will get to the skid steer loader I'm also thinking about changing that skid steer loader but 
I, I don't know exactly with what because the telehandlers that we have in game right now are very expensive. I don't think we have a telehandler mode that sh will be cheaper. But I will take a look in the mod hub and if I find uh, anything, maybe we will go that route because uh, the collecting bells with the telehandler it's hard and it takes a lot of time. So decisions, decisions, decisions. I'll see you when this is done.
we are now in October everyone and the situation is like this we managed to finish bailing the straw on our two fields in September now we need to collect the bales and put them in storage but before we do that uh, I want to go check if our grass bales the ones that we wrapped uh, an episode ago are uh, are fermenting because I have the feeling that they are not let's see so this one is 94 percent fermented so yeah they are fermenting that's good so we will have i'm gonna take the skip and put this back straw we have five bales okay hey we have 26 bales which is nice we have 25 bales of silage and not 25 uh 33 35 bales of silage and 33 bales of straw so we will have over 50 bales of silage uh in this and over 60 actually and i'm thinking about selling some of the selling some of the silage i don't know when the a good price for it will be but i'm going to check Actually, we'll do that right now after we put this bale here. Uh, let's check when the best price for silage is. Okay, silage. Best price for silage is in January. 343. Right now is not bad. 325 is the biogas plant. So we can sell some of that. But also uh when we set up this when i set up this series i set the economic difficulty on normal and i think that was a mistake and here's why uh we are now 14 episodes in this is the 14th episode uh and we are not progressing at least not at as fast as i want to progress I mean, after 14 episodes, we, episodes we managed to get a few animals. We have 25 sheep and 10 cows, or 20, 20 cows, which are not even producing milk because I bought them as baby cows. And they are just consuming food for now and producing slurry and manure, which is not great. I want to get more animals. Uh, I want also to get another tractor because we only have one at the farm and it's not enough sometimes i can put a tractor on a worker and do something with the other one which is not great maybe i can get a tractor that will have also front loader and we can get rid of that kit steer that we have for moving bales it will be easier with a front loader it will be, it will be easier with the telehandler but we don't have that kind of money so i'm thinking about changing the difficulty and putting the difficulty on easy so we can uh, actually see some uh, progress in this let's play but before i do that uh, i want to know your opinion it will actually help me very much if you let me know down in the comments what what do you think should we change the difficulty and put it on easy or should we leave it as it is right now and also it will help me if you let me know in the comments what do you think about the time scale i'm usually playing at times five uh, which i think it's the perfect time scale to play on because more or less i can do one in-game mount in an episode but uh, let me know what you think maybe you think it's will be better to put it on times three to have more time for contract maybe you think it will be better to play i don't know normal time but i don't want to do actually to do that because it's not uh, not realistic i mean it's not at all realistic so i don't want to play on normal time but uh, yeah, i can play on times three i did it on some maps of course off camera 
And it was not that bad. So that's one way to go. Uh, okay, we are now in October. Uh, let's check the crop calendar. I don't know if we can drill anything right now. We can. Oh yes, we can. We can drill wheat, barley, and oats. And I think about putting putting oats at least in the big field. Also grass, but I don't want to do grass. Uh, and the other ones I'm thinking here about soybeans uh, can be done in May. So yeah, probably we are going to put oats in both of our fields, our arable fields. That is. Uh, But let me know what you think about the the difficulty. Otherwise, I'll just uh, I'm thinking about changing it to easy and then sell the silage. Probably we are going if the bales finish fermenting by the time we get into the next episode. I will probably sell at least one load in the next episode, maybe two. It depends. We will we will see. Actually, I would prefer to sell them not right now, but to wait a little bit until the price will be better. But also, I'm thinking that we have that loan and we are paying uh, 100 or uh, 1,500 per in-game month because of it interest. So yeah, I'm thinking about paying that back as soon as possible. So I will decide by by next time it will be very helpful if, if I will get your opinion. Otherwise, we'll see what what I decide. Uh, but for now, let's uh, gather the bales. Let's collect the bales and put them in storage from our two fields. I'm thinking about doing this uh, in a time lapse, and I am thinking also that. This is going to be the uh, last job in this episode because I'm watching at the recording time and yeah, we are going to make the episode too long if we start another one. But let's collect the bales and store them and I will see you after, see how many bales we, we have in total and uh, we will end the episode there.
Okay everyone, I managed to somehow collect all the bales from the two fields. This last load is was, was a pain in the ass and it, uh, it really pissed me off. I don't know what the real problem is, but uh, I'm struggling a lot with the skid steer loader to load the bales. And also the skid steer loader is very rear and heavy because I put the weights on. So by the end, by the time we get to the next episode, I will off camera see about removing those weights and also see about buying some new type of spikes or bale grabs or something because I think it's also a problem with the spikes. Uh, they seem to be too long for this machine and uh, it's a pain in the ass to turn around the bales. I, you saw that I like to put them on on their end they're easier to maneuver that way and uh, also yeah i will see what i have available for this kit steer loader and then uh, change it and also remove the weights to make it a little bit uh, rear and lighter uh, but for now for this episode i think this is it uh, we are going to finish the episode here I hope you are still enjoying the series. If you do, please give me a like. Uh, if you want to watch more of my videos, subscribe to the channel. And in the end, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.